Hey there everybody, how you all doing today? Well, you know, today I decided I wanted to go outside because it was starting to be sunny out and everything, so I went and grabbed the drone, found the batteries were kind of low, so I put them on charge, and by the time I went back out, it was clouding over, and it was starting to get really cold, and it was supposed to be like 15 out today and sunny. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? So anyway, I decided to go out and just take a picture of the lake and see if I could see if the beaver found his way back because he's been over there and uh, right there you can see a little dock the three little white things there and uh, he's made a home in that uh, a couple winters in a row and last year they relocated them and um, so you know I don't know if he's still around or not but I haven't seen him so I guess he must be uh, relocated and he's not there anymore so anyway I just thought I'd go over and see if he was around uh, causing any nuisance because he, he holds up traffic when he used to be living around here he pulled down trees and hauled them off across the road and hold traffic up while he was doing it and yeah he was kind of a real pain in the arse but anyway uh, cute but it's quite interesting what they do those beavers and um, so anyway just thought I'd have a look around the lake and see what was going on anyway back to the weather now that I'm inside and I'm putting this together and telling you what went on uh, yeah, there's the two docks there that he decided to choke the styrofoam and make home in um, it's sunny out now it's back to 15 and uh, like when I was out there it clouded right over it got cold as heck and it started to rain so I had to give up and I really couldn't get any good footage of what was going on so that kind of really put a damper on things but I just wanted to see if the beaver was out in the lake. Now I got to say, the neighbors are really pretty cool with me, uh, you know, flying above and uh, looking for the beaver in the lake and stuff. They, they're like, yeah, sure, fly over anytime, or come in the backyard and launch from there if you want to, and uh, so that makes it pretty easy. So, but um, you can see like the cloud level. I don't know, it's not really fog; it's more cloud level that's up there it wasn't really uh, foggy or anything when I was doing this um, so it has to be cloud and it was just low cloud and then it just started pecking and then like I said by the time I landed um, it was a full out rain shower so it was uh, pretty damp and anyway I just started to fool around there and see what I could see uh, some of the other lakes up there but um, it's, uh, you know, two graves really do anything. And like I said, it got cold. It was so cold, my hands started to freeze. I, I found it actually warmer or has warm on New Year's Eve when I was out uh, trying to uh, take the fireworks and, um, you know, uh, film the fireworks. So it was pretty darn cold out there this morning. Anyway, uh, I use this opportunity for flying around, just have a, a quick peek at what's going on. This is kind of like my mm, first spring uh flight after she's been uh sitting all winter so i also like to uh just uh, drop down and have a look at the roof of the house every now and then and on the uh, travel trailer just to make sure everything is uh intact and that there's nothing uh loose or whatever objects that shouldn't be there and everything looks pretty good so it's pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that, and I guess until next time, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye for now.